Okay, we died. A few minutes. Okay. Internet is restored, I think. Right? I think I'm good. I don't know. I'll help you out. Alright, whatever. Oh, that is loud. Alright. Should be live and rolling. Let's continue this MSQ. Avgen. All right, let's continue. Distinguished guests, fellow family members, ladies, gentlemen, and friends from all over the cosmos. It's a pleasure to join you all in celebrating the grandest ceremony of the Amber Era, the Charmony Festival. Firstly, on behalf of the Penaconi family's five major lineages, And on behalf of myself, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all our guests. As you all may have noticed, this year's Charmony Festival is far from regular. Thanks to the efforts of everyone, the celebration is unprecedented in scale, with factions from across the cosmos in attendance. Not only that, the customary opening ceremony held at the Penaconi Grand Theater has now moved to the Radiant Feldspar, the very airship you all stand upon. We invite you to express your warmest applause and deepest appreciation for O.T. Alfalfa, head of the Alfalfa family, for his selfless devotion to the Harmony's cause. What makes this festival so uniquely significant? As is widely known, the Radiant Feldspar had to halt its voyage due to an anomaly in the Sweet Dream, sparking widespread discussion in the Twelve Hours. Thanks to the hard work of Penaconi's internal and external factions, we've finally gotten the Dreamscape back on track, just in time for the Charmony Festival. And as they say, Good things come in pairs. The Charmony Festival not only celebrates this achievement, but also marks the relaunch of the Radiant Feldspar. And finally, the last reason. Does everyone remember the Watchmaker? In truth, the family has poured their efforts into this festival just to commemorate this legendary luminary. The father of Penaconi, Mikhail Char Legwork, one of the legendary nameless who laid the foundations of Penaconi. In the most bewildering times of the planet of festivities, it was he who descended from the sky with his companions, who taught us through trailblazing where freedom lies. It was also they who led the vanguard in the pioneering of the dreamscape, in exchange for what is now known as the Paradise of Harmony. It can be said that Penaconi's splendid success today is deeply rooted in the trailblazing ethos the Watchmaker planted within us. Only by honoring this trailblazing spirit can we fulfill our mission and spread harmony to a broader audience. I feel like they use so many words to, like, get around that point. <laughs> it's like... Uh, fair enough, I guess. Uh. Aww, that's so nice of her. She's talking about us. Uh, that's not about us. She was, uh, she, it was him. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, come on. It doesn't matter if she's talking about the old or new generation. We're all still part of the Astral Express family. <sighs> and now, the sweet dream is back on track. All thanks to the Trailblaze, of course. If it weren't for everyone on the Astral Express, we wouldn't be able to successfully host this Charmony Festival. Thus, with unanimous consent from the five major lineages, 
Penacone's family, on behalf of all family members throughout the cosmos, offer a token of appreciation to the Nameless. Oh, I wonder if it's gonna be a big one! Oh, it's gonna be big, alright. We will transfer you know what's coming. ownership of the Radiant Feldspar to the Astral Express. A meager appreciation that we hope you will accept with grace. Let us gift our applause and cheers to these brave and dauntless Nameless. If you're gonna give us the fucking ship, yeah, right. Nameless! 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 And now, I propose a toast. To Harmony. To the Trailblaze. To the future of Penacone and the universe. And to the generous Alfalfa family head, Mr. O.T. Alfalfa. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> to make a decision like that, this little bird is no less capable than her brother. As well, as well. Right. But have you forgotten someone, my gray-haired friend? I put a bomb on this ship. You have ten minutes to find it. Better hurry. Hmm. When did this get shoved into my hands? There's still so many bombs. Now's not the time for plot twists. I can't handle this alone. Time to create a group and inform everyone. One, 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 one. From where to view fireworks? Uh, ten hundred oh one hundred thousand buttons. What the fridge is wrong with you? Forty eight system hours on it. Let's go. Uh. All set. Let's start following the plan. Use the function below to check treasure map details. Be around here. Is it upstairs? What the fuck game? It's gotta be upstairs. Oh, oh, this. Oh, is that the bomb? Is this a fucking doll? I'm the constable around these parts, and right now I'm posing. Oh come as a bomb. on! Put it, pose it as like a real bomb. Right. This is called foreshadowing. All right, now that you've found me, it's my turn to complete my mission. Next, I'll count down from five and then explode. Five, four, 
One! Is it really that important? I'm not even a real bomb. Was it surprising, shocking, horrifying? No? Really? Fine. That's too bad, then. You really ought to learn how to win a girl over. Toy with a remote speaker. Okay. At least I made some progress. Gotta keep working. Dude, we at found it. fucking one. Man with the plaster head. Ha! We meet again. I am Penacony's famed detective. Got yourself into a pickle? I'm more than happy to help. But unfortunately, I'm preoccupied with a couple of unsolved cases. So, you'll have to wait your turn. Bob. Right. It completely slipped my mind. Dr. Boom specializes in explosives. I need your help, miss. You've had quite a few run-ins with Dr. Boom. And with the recent bomb situation, you're bound to find evidence that proves Dr. Boom is the killer. The first case is the Soulblad Factory Arson case. We found a hammer, a doll, and half a liter of unidentified fluid at the scene of the crime. Our forensics results showed it's a red herring. The second case is the Blue Hour Auction Robbery. A gang of masked thugs broke in, stole a fragment of the Astral Express, and left behind a large hammer, a doll, and a half-dead red herring at the scene. Those are all the details. The way I see it, there must be a link between these two cases that will be the key to exposing Dr. Boom. Dr. Boom. I trust in your deduction. Which piece of evidence do you think is the deciding? Bing, bing! Correct answer! You're good at gray hair. Your mind is pretty sharp. Seeing as you've put in so much effort, I'll throw you a bone. The bone's not here. This is only a prank I've craftily set up. Hurry, time's running out. You better find that real bone quickly. the front of the ship that way over here <coughs> hello i'm a bomb there's still some time before i explode so you can take a look around first that's no problem of course but if you don't want to go too far, 
I can also play a soothing tune for you in case you get bored. Now playing Never Give Up, Never Surrender by the trending superstar Ast Rickley from the Epsilon 12 system. What the fuck? I'm screenshotting that one. Never give up, never surrender. What the fucking hell? Let's go shot another one. Cannibals. Oh, hang on. Hanakoni's family have not oh my God. to this song. We can't play it here. How about this? I'll recite it for you. Next up. Please enjoy a recital of Never Give Up, Never Surrender. Oh, aha! If you ask me how I feel about you, don't tell me that you pretend not to see. They will never give you up. Oh my god. Never make you sad. They will never give you up. Never make you cry. Bro. They will never say goodbye to you. Never tell lies to hurt you. Praise. Aha! I love that. Irritating cas oh. Cassette tape? Oh, uh, echoes of Excel. Oh my god. Rick Gasly. You're only allowed to say one line, so please try and resist the urge to share your thoughts. Mm. To escape the family. Sure. Robin, who's that? Since you're done asking questions and I'm done answering, according to the script, I must reveal to you the fact that there's no bomb here at all. That's causing you to want to kick yourself for spending this whole time listening to me prattling on, after which we will part ways. <sighs> but don't fret, I've also prepared a gift for you. A dream bubble that has the thrilling life and death moments I shared with the beautiful memo keeper. If you haven't seen it yet, you should hurry up and look for Dr. Edward. Time left. I hope I make it. Twenty-eight minutes forty-six seconds. Twenty-eight minutes forty-five seconds. really was their doing. Since you're here, I'll just keep it short. Just over half an hour ago, I received a message from an unknown sender and rushed here as soon as I could. 27 minutes, 52 seconds. 27 minutes, 51 seconds. The sweet dream has lost the protection of the order. If it were to blow up here, the consequences would be unfathomable. 
I've scrutinized it for a long time, but the bomb's design is incredibly unique, as if it's been locked by some mysterious path force. Apart from its creator, I fear no one knows how to deactivate it. Hmm. It's difficult! Time is running out, and she's a master of disguise! And even if we catch her, she won't come quietly! You mean the Watchmaker's guests? That's a pity. Based on my experience, I don't think any of them can turn the tide on this situation. The Memo Keeper may be able to teleport the bomb to a deserted location, but... I... I have found a note inside the doll. A mimetic virus. Mimetic life forms, particularly Memo Keepers, especially Black Swan, are... <laughs> so in a banana, 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 banana. Uh-huh. I don't know what grudges they have, but this path is a dead end, too. Hmm. Actually, there might be another way. Do you still remember? The script said that I will experience death three times in the Land of Dreams. I think this moment heralds the third time. You may already know that I have no way of evoking dreams. I employ a Stellaron Hunter's special method in order to enter dreams instead. This allows me to perform feats that typical dream chasers can't. As long as I can bear the pain of the Memoria pressure, I'll be able to dive into the primal memory zone beyond the dream and extend a lifeline to the Radiant Feldspar. I will take this bomb into the depths of the dreamscape, as deep as possible where there are no living souls around. That way, at least no one will get hurt. Hmm. Don't worry. I believe that this Firefly armor will be enough to take me to where I need to go before the countdown ends. And maybe even make it back safely. At present, this is our best and most logical course of action. After all, a long story deserves a happy ending. I have some words to share with you, though they were spoken to me by Miss Acheron. She said that the so-called impossible is merely something that is yet to happen. At the moment, there are so many things that seem impossible, but are they really never going to happen? Maybe it's just that the moment to disprove these impossibilities hasn't arrived yet. Whether it be a literal ending, suffering akin to death, or a harrowing deathscape. Before the appointed destination arrives, they are all the same. Yet I can still make Mary had choices. I also firmly believe that... that when that moment arrives for us to make a choice, the answer to our end will already be within our hearts. It is not destiny that shapes us, but we who shape destiny. The Astral Express and the Stellaron Hunters are like light and shadow. We walk on different paths, intertwined, moving forward and growing together. Maybe the end is predestined, but it is not today. Things are going too well. Let's speed up the countdown. Human life is short, just like fireflies to a flame. So if you have an answer in your heart, always remember. Don't leave with any regrets. We have this right. about other people's safety. Why don't you go take a closer look? <laughs> you see, 
Everything is possible in this land of dreams. We each came here with our own goals and realized them in unimaginable ways. Regardless if the result was a sweet illusion or a bitter reality. It was an answer we longed for day and night. So, why do people choose to slumber? I think it's as you said. Because in the end, we will wake up from our dreams. I hope that's not the end, because that did not conclude anything. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, not really. Okay. That that's not plot relevant. <laughs> okay. Uh I'm waiting for important plot points. This felt more fan servicey than anything. When I arrived, I happened to see a child holding it. He said the flowers were prepared by Aunt Jessie for the watchmaker and the war comrade he'd missed his whole life. Mikhail would place two bunches of flowers here year after year. And after he left, it became three. Your wishes will always be remembered by someone. Now, Panacone, as you hoped, has welcomed the dawn after a long, dark night. The path forward may not be a bed of roses, but at least people are prepared to step forth towards freedom. Tiernan, you can go home now. While the Nameless are also preparing for the next stop of their voyage. But before leaving, we still have one last thing to do. Uh, can we not say about all three? <clears throat> It is my honor. I've said many goodbyes. Yet, I am glad that this is the first time I speak these words with a smile. But before leaving, I'm sure you all have plenty to say to the Nameless of the past. A fitting end to the tale of the departed. One could not ask for a better farewell. Go on. They're all here. I wonder if the scientist lady's still alive, though. She's never, like... Officially been pronounced dead or anything, you know. It's just she went missing. Honestly, when I heard the conductor's request, I was pretty surprised. The nameless. Those who trailblaze, doing good deeds but never seeking recognition. After all this time, how would we even find those three people in such a vast place like Penacony? But it seems, in the land of the dreams, anything is indeed possible. History may not remember the names of the dead, but the stars will attest to their journeys. The first glimmer of light in the prolonged night often illuminates little, as it is fleeting and the darkness too vast. But because of this, people will remember. As long as something shines in the night sky, then when the first star falls, countless more will follow, streaking across the horizon. Brooklyn Tiernan, Rosalina J. and Estella, we raise a toast to you. Trailblazers of the Silver Rail. A toast to history that no longer remains silent. The passionate and courageous pursuit and a voyage that traverses the stars. I think that'd make for a very interesting story in the future, right? And if in like five years, you end up at like a portal and then like she's just there or something. I don't know, maybe she's been corrupted and she's evil or some shit, but... I think that'd be a very interesting way to- Oh, can I talk to you too? Right. 
A fitting end to the tale of the departed. That statue... It wasn't here last time. Looks like this is the last riddle that Mr. Gallagher left for us. We never found out who conjured him. In the end, we still failed to figure out his true identity. Or if he was even a living person. Uh, what should I say? I mean, this guy is definitely a history fictionologist, all right. I'm suddenly reminded of the time at the theme park when he said he was only 13 years old. Could that have meant something too? Either way, he's an enigmatic character for sure. At least our journey together in Panacone was real enough. And his loyalty and love for this land must have been real too, right? Gallagher, we raise a toast to you, the slumbering hound. To the festival's invitation, to all lies and the singular truth. If we ever meet again, please don't talk in riddles. Yeah, we'll probably meet the OG later. Probably different memories and shit, but... I know all the sitting... I don't remember them oriented like that before. Is the Astro Express ready to depart Penacone? Uh, apologies, Mr. Mika, that we are only now bidding you farewell. Oh, that's all right. Oh, is it him? You've all done so much for the Watchmaker, and we are forever indebted. Allow me, as the representative of Dreamflux Reef, to make another toast to all the names. He's someone with a lot of power. What will the people of Dreamflux Reef do now? <laughs> Many will continue to live here. Those accustomed to being awake will mostly have a hard time getting used to a life of darkness with their eyes closed. Though the order has faded, there must be someone to watch over this primal memory zone. <sighs> Penacone's nights are long, and there are many who are still far from a good night's sleep. As for the sweet dream over there... <sighs> we're still managing without it, aren't we? Mika and residents of Dreamflux Reef, we raise a toast to you, watchers of the long dream. To your tenacity throughout time, to each sorrowful night, and to the dawn that is finally upon us. What's the point in changing his... Image I portrayed before you know is probably never from the Mika. Oh.
I can read that again. After the family established the plugged of scissors, the chaotic primary dream tape. It was just here. Um, I don't have a lot of people that read sinister motives. Use power to once again activate it. Hmm. Dreams. Well, this is how they're meant to be. Plain and... What's the point in activating the clockwork? Oh. Oh, there's the guy! Um. You have to go through one of these. Let me see if I can get it now. It's a new patch. I remember that shit. I'm just a wallflower. You. Are you ready? <laughs> Is it time? There's something profoundly heroic. Huh. Not yet. When will you be ready? Alright. How's this? Where are you going, Mikhail? <laughs> In the end, we still came full circle. This trailblazing expedition started from the moment you and a bellboy ran into each other. After going on a journey of many twists and turns, they still ended up where they started. Just like a clock's hands that turn round and round, the start and end of each day will always land on 12 o'clock. The advent of time moving forward. There shouldn't be much left to say. This entire adventure started because of you, and should naturally end with you. And then, a new page will be turned. Mikhail Char Legwork, we raise a toast to you, watchmaker of the land of the dreams, nameless of the Astral Express, to Peniconi's past, present, future, and the child's unwavering dream unto death. With that, our duty as nameless should be complete, right? The trailblaze can illuminate the way, but ultimately... The future of a world belongs to those who live in it. Uh, I still feel that Mr. McHale must have really wanted to witness this day himself. What's on your mind, March? Just a strange feeling. I had it a few stops ago, but it's super strong this time. Why not talk about it? Maybe everyone's thinking the same thing. I can't help but think that whether it's Mr. Mikhail, Mr. Tiernan, or Madame Rosalina, their lives must have been long, and they must have experienced plenty of stories. They were also young once, stumbling and bumbling around just like us. Getting into scraps and mischief, that sort of stuff. Companions, enemies, journeys, adventures, all the sad and happy memories. The every day that we're used to, they've lived through them too. But those things are all in the past. I know, but the thing that I can't get out of my mind is the present. It'll 
be easier to understand if I use an analogy. Like, when you're reading a book, if one of its characters keeps running into obstacles and experiences an ending full of regrets, we're bound to feel a bit mixed about it, right? Because we've seen every nook and cranny of their lives, we see these people as special. So, even if there are parts of it that aren't really realistic, nor logical, we still hope that their story gets a good ending when it comes. But, what if they... and we... aren't really that special? When Mr. McHale sat in this chair, waiting for the Astral Express to arrive every day, what was he thinking? And if, at the end of his life, he could still firmly say he had no regrets... Then, what is this regret we feel in our hearts right now? Hmm... I think each and every one of us is searching for the answer to this very question. The universe is vast, and our lives are but specks. The trailblaze never ends, but against the backdrop of the cosmos, the average person's lifelong journey is merely a short stretch. But it is in this minuscule distance that paths cross, and countless worlds connect. The universe may not remember every person who leaves a tie along the silver rail, but we will. As long as we remember, their stories will never end. Got to real life too. And what Mr. McHale has left for us is his answer to this very question. It may not be perfect, but it left a smile on this storied, jaded old nameless's face at the end of his life. And its meaning will be interpreted by those who come after us. It's not the answer that's important. But what we can learn from others' answers, right? This is what trailblazing is. Sure. <laughs> I'm really sorry for bringing down the vibe. Quick, Don Hung, tell us a dad joke to lighten the mood. <laughs> it's never a bad thing to reflect. One day, we'll all have to face our own farewells. <laughs> but before that, we still have a long way ahead of us together. So the most important thing right now is to tell the conductor what we saw in Penacony. Then prepare ourselves for our next trailblazing destination. <sighs> I should get back to the Express. Or maybe I could say my final goodbye to Acheron. Oh, I can go in. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I should get back to the Express. It's time for tea and cakes. Or maybe I could say my final goodbye to Acheron. Do you still remember when we first arrived in Penacony? Who would have thought our paths would cross in such a way? <sighs> Come to think of it, I didn't even get a chance to formally introduce myself. Simply put, I'm a self-annihilator who was cursed by the Nihility. My hometown was destroyed a long time ago, and the whole world was erased beneath their shadow. In order to fight against the cruel end of self-destruction, I went on a journey in search Dark of a way web. to sever the chains of the Nihility. After a long and grueling search, 
I am convinced that my destination lies within the depths of the dark web, where reality and the nihility are separate. In there lurks a secret called Device 9. One day, I'll reach it. The ocean of stars is vast, and given our destinations, I'm afraid our paths may not cross again. They're not going to reveal the she's a time traveler for a while. The ahead is always full of unknowns, and my blade is sharp enough to sever fate. As long as we maintain our original resolve, I believe there will come a day where we will meet again. Ah. In that case, I must apologize for my rudeness. Do you remember when we first met? I once said you reminded me of an acquaintance. Because of the self-annihilator's curse, my memories are stripped away, blurring my past. And after our journey together, what I originally thought were familiar feelings were merely illusions. I believe this was truly our first meeting. Because of the curse or blurring my past. What do you mean? It's improbable that you've crossed paths with my past self. What I mean is there is nothing left to retrace there. Only nihility. What if we're the time traveler? I think I might have seen someone... What the hell? I see. Huh. You've also had a similar experience? Then you should know that this me and your memory of me are not the same person. What the fuck does this mean? <laughs> Long ago, I too was like you. With irreplaceable companions. We also embarked on journeys, making the best choices we could, whenever we could. Unfortunately, we didn't achieve the outcome we wanted. But moments like this make me feel like they never even left. In this universe, there exist countless worlds that are similar yet different, and countless people who are alike yet distinct. I, too, have wandered alone, encountering acquaintances on strange worlds, seeing their silhouettes overlap with my past. In your opinion, what does this déjà vu mean? Number three sounds like fucking your name. This is not your name. <laughs> Wrong story. Attachment, desire, longing. They may all be right, but they are all incomplete. I believe it's not something external, but something that originates within us. An emotion that traverses time from a certain moment of our past to reach us. Perhaps it's a source of warmth and happiness. Or maybe it brings pain and sorrow. Each time we reminisce on our past, we always seem to notice a tiny but unforgettable instant that we left behind us, along with certain other things that remain constant throughout. That is a summary of our lives, encapsulating everything about us in these moments, proof of our shared path. Within them, we glimpse our own essence, and thus, we truly exist. Just like everyone in this story, hurtling onwards along the path of destiny with passion and courage for the things that breathe meaning into their lives. Set forth on your voyage without hesitation, Nameless, on the path of the trailblaze. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before that, on the road towards the end, there are still many things that we can do. 
And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. This is the meaning of journey. All those things, beautiful before, are still so now. And I believe it will still bloom at the end of the nihility. Until we meet again beneath the sun's rays. Is that the other one? What? Why is Pom Pom so sad? What the fuck? <laughs> Rose, not okay. Uh, there, there. Chin up, Pom Pom. Don't be sad. Uh, don't cry. Wow. Your method of consolation is truly unsophisticated. Did you just say, there, there, don't cry? Yeah, what the fuck? Still better than just standing there like a scarecrow. Oh, hey, you're finally back. We told Pom Pom all about our adventure, and they suddenly started crying. I've never seen Pom Pom so sad before. <laughs> the conductor never cries. Pom Pom is never sad. Pom Pom is just, just, just angry. Yeah. Angry. No matter where the express stops, you lot always manage to cause chaos. My well thought out timetable completely ignored. If you carry on like this, the express is gonna run out of fuel. Angry. Huh. That's right. Pop Pop is just angry. It's not me. Misha, Tiernan, Rosalina, and the rest! <laughs> it's okay. Oh, Pom Pom, just let it all out. Everyone, could you all take a break in the next car? Don't worry. I'll stay here with Pom Pom. But... Let's go, March. Uh, it's okay. Okay. I never expected Pom Pom would be so distraught. Those three nameless must have meant a lot to Pom Pom. No one knows exactly when Pom Pom boarded the Express, but one can surmise that their journey has been filled with many hellos and goodbyes. Probably more than we can imagine. The fact that they're crying so hard is probably a good sign. It proves that Pom Pom's emotions haven't become dulled by the grind of time. They still deeply cherish every nameless who has boarded the Express, and value every journey shared with them. Leave it to Himako. When it comes to comforting, there's no one better on the Express. <laughs> well, they were a little emotional at the time, but I'm afraid that's not out of the question. Since you joined us, the Express has stayed longer than anticipated at every stop along the way. And to ensure that everyone always makes it back on board, Pom Pom has had no choice but to delay the warp jump schedule. I see. <laughs> no wonder I can regularly hear Pom Pom pacing anxiously up and down the corridor. Turns out Pom Pom's been silently putting in a lot of work for us. Wow. Different from typical vehicles, the Astral Express converts every trailblaze into the energy it needs to run. Ideally, as long as trailblazing expeditions continue without interruption, the Express will receive a constant flow of energy, much like a 
perpetual motion machine. But, because of our previous encounters, fuel is being used up much faster than expected. We can probably only pull off two more warp jumps at most. Huh, interesting. Only two more? Isn't that super risky? Oh, I don't want to become an ice cube floating around in space again! How about we shove you back in the space station's computer, then? Which also means that we must prudently consider our next destination. Yes, uh, I've already checked the astral charts. The two nearest worlds to us are the oceanic planet of Lushaka and the agate world Melustanen. Hmm, that's what As for which one we're headed dream. to, that still requires a vote. Or perhaps you might consider a suggestion. Everyone, we meet again. Uh, it's you! Why were you just in my room? Hmm. It's a very cute room, Miss March. Just like you. Memo Keeper, uh, let's put aside how you managed to sneak past everyone and board the Express, for now. You mentioned a suggestion. I accidentally overheard how the Express obtains fuel. I just wanted to chat with everyone to see if we could work together. But now, it appears my suggestion could be the very lifeline that saves everyone. Please speak candidly. Depending on what you say, we could very well ask you to disembark. Ah, the Permanence's descendant. What a charming little dragon, especially with those mired memories of yours. But I digress. If the Astral Express is in urgent need of a special trailblazing expedition to recharge its engine, have you all considered this? Perhaps your destination could be a world that even the renowned Aki Vili never reached. Should you be able to lay down a new stretch of silver rail, the Express may never have to worry about energy ever again. Trailblazing to a world that even Aki Vili has never been to? Is that possible? Continue, Memo Keeper. This destination of which you speak, what sort of world is it? A world that many across the universe don't even know exists. A world hidden away from outside observation. Its presence only revealed by the light from the mirror of the Garden of Recollection. A world fettered by three paths, its destiny hanging in the balance. The Eternal Land, Amphorius. I hope I'm not too late, child. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be mm. you. Don't you know how many sentry posts the family has built? And how hard it is to get you out of here? <laughs> Looks like my time's up. What do you mean? What time? Negotiation, interrogation, or death. My fate lies entirely in your hands, Lady Bonajade. The dance is done. Why bother with the compassionate pretense and give someone who's about to die the chance to talk? Despite your fall from grace, you still look well. I'm very glad to see that you're so full of verve. <sighs> Do not insult my pride with half-veiled sarcasm. Have you specially come to see me, just to sate your vile vanity? Oh, of course not. I merely came to fulfill your younger sister's wishes. 
to offer you a generous trade. That is, if you're willing to accept. Robin? To build a true haven where everyone can attain peace. That's the oath between you siblings, isn't it? If I told you there was still a chance to realize this vow, would you be willing to talk to me then? <laughs> <laughs> I recognize the gravity of this question, which is why you don't have to answer me right now. Go now. You are free, O oh Chosen One, who dare to exceed his bounds. Sever your wings, descend to the mortal realm, and walk their lands. See what this world is truly like. <sighs> I will not accept your charity. As I mentioned earlier, it's a trade, and you don't have to give me an answer right now. Rewards are not reaped in a day, and if there's one thing I'm best at, it's waiting. The sweet dream still continues, and the night is still long. You have plenty of time to contemplate your answer. Ah, a word of advice for you before we part ways. A word of warning from someone who's been in your shoes before. Life is too short to miss out on golden opportunities. Hmm. Why does Boodle join now? And Robin? What the f- Oh my god. What the fuck? Holy shit. That's so fucking random. Shadows of despair. Whoa, whoa. One last time, we'll find our way, we'll find our way. Oh, shit. It's a pity, oh, we won't be able to win. Oh my god. My naughty pet sleepy on my behalf. What the fuck? Please release into the memory zone. Life and death are really parts of the fiction on the road. Enclosed is a gift for you. What the fuck? What the hell is this? The boy's graffiti. Oh my god, what the fuck? Has it been there the whole time? First sight. They Holy shirtballs! The synthesizer on away. this express is lit as fudge! Following this synthesizing method, would it turn a bag of trash into treasure? Uh, it's not a new term, it just means the very peak. It means very fudging awesome. What the fork? This Synesthesia beacon obviously knows about my language deficiency, but it still keeps updating the lexicon. Anyway, other than this synthesizer, are there any other cool toys on the Express? <laughs> Looks like you're prepared to be the Express's tour guide. Then. Alright, I needed two more standard turns. The unending dream ends up. Looks are running. The best of the fate of Valor's love. In time. In time. Whoa! Hands up. 
The wheels are spinning across the fade. Wow, he already finished Firefly? Jesus Christ. It's been like... It hasn't even been a day. It's been like six hours. Holy frick. Hmm. So I was told that you're not supposed to go for the Ronmei light cone? I don't know. But... <laughs> Stand watch still. out you though. So I don't want to spend too much. Eternal. Not bad. Oh wait, you know what? You know, in honor. Time to say bye. Boom. In honor of this being announced, let's fucking play this. <laughs> the dead return. The words that sing. The unending dream. Ill fate descends. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. All will be swept away by the wind. I can't even hear this. My game is so loud, I can't even hear this. Jesus. Bloom. <laughs> Stand still. Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> Oh wait. Time to say bye. Boom. There you go. The human body is beautiful in its fragility. Oh my god, I don't have enough. 35, 55, Jesus. I'm not even close to enough. <sighs> but also, I need them for Galagizi too. I need to do a bunch. Wait, am I going the wrong way? Fuck. All right, I'll just do. I'll just finish it out. <laughs> Any more runs? Relax. The dead return. Ill fate descends. Eternal. All will be swept away by the wind. <laughs> Stand still. Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> Time to say bye. Boom. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Existence is unity. <laughs> Nothing may receive divinity. The dead return. <laughs> Stand still. <laughs> All will be swept away by the wind. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Relax. Ill tidings manifest. Eternal. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Stand still. Uh. Relax. Yeah. All will be swept away by the wind. 
Alright, let's do the simulated universe. Is that a stain? I like this coat. Drink water, Voked. sound You're like 90 I can use anybody right oh everybody who comes level 80 oh shit um I'm just gonna use dots Yeah, we're just gonna use dots. Oh my god, I'm getting lost. Like any oh okay. All will be swept away by the wind. Okay, we're gonna go back to eighty percent. Jesus. Beneath the waters. I should have lowered it before coming in. Abyss. Oh my god. Time to say bye. Boom. Human creations. <laughs> Fate descends. Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> Eternal. Together as one. <laughs> Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Stand still. Path? What the fuck? Okay. Oh, it's a gold, so we're just gonna take the gold. Uh, this does not help my dot team whatsoever. Uh, but sure, we'll finish these out. Let's 
Fucking weird. It wants me to use Miss March. Why do I feel like that'll be a terrible idea? <laughs> Fuck it. Let's just test it out. A foreboding sign. Linger. Make a wish. Existence is unity. All will be swept away by the wind. Watch this awesome move. Ill fate to say. <laughs> Time to say bye. Boom. Relax. Ill tidings manifest. Stand still. Are these free? These are free? Okay, I'll take them. Oh my god. Scripted. Oh. Sound linger. Make a wish. Freeze. Eternal. Man, this boss did no fucking chance. Oh my God. Relax. Time to say bye. Boom. Holy shit, this thing is tanky as fuck. Oh my god. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. All will be swept away by the wind. Bro. Stand still. He's just not taking any damage. Other than the break effect, I guess. Weird. Maybe something in the tutorial said that, but I just didn't fucking read it. <laughs> I just want this shit done. Okay. Oh man. I don't think I'm going to buy it when it comes out. I'm going to try to pick this game up when it's on sale though, because I also want the Layton game. Oh shit, hold on, let me check eBay. There was a copy that was like, oh my god, it was like a reasonable price. Um, It might be expensive now, let me see, let me see. I might put in a bid. Probably not going to get it. Uh... Yeah, fuck no. It's up to $53. Yeah, yeah, fuck right off. Jesus Christ. Bro, these are so expensive now. Holy shit. Someone's selling... A, oh, it's a Japanese version. I was gonna say, that's a pretty good price, but... It's Japanese. I wouldn't be able to read it. Oh my god. This game is so fucking expensive now. Wow. Why in the world is this shit so expensive? Why is this game so expensive? I mean, they might just make a, a Switch port in like a couple years or something. P-Dub versus Layton. Only $250 on fucking Amazon. Oh my god. Fuck right off. Jesus Christ.
God damn. I mean, yeah, you're, at that point, your, your your choices are you watch a playthrough or you, you find a alternate means of getting it. Oh, what the fuck is this? Holy shit. Is this per week? Oh, it's expansion. I want to know what the weekly shit is. This period will end. Can I look at the fucking shit? Oh my god. Stop! I don't want to do this! Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold the fuck on. This is... This is the same simulated universe shit for all, everybody. Okay. And what do we need for the battle pass? Six stars from PF. Synchronicity level 20. Okay. These are mostly like whatever things. Divergent extrapolation. Oh, okay. This is the way to do it quickly. All right. Okay, I don't care. I'll figure it out later. All right. Oh wait. Oh oh, that's cool. You can do this. You can do divergent universe inside the dreamscape. Oh wow. Now that is different. Hold on. There's a quest here. A quest is this family secretary. Oh, oh, we're gonna hire people. Okay. Oh, Captain, my Captain. further there a hidden one I'm like ah eh. I don't see a hidden one Be some weird elegant solution. Eh, I don't fucking care. It's just five gems. All right. Um, I think I'm good right now. Only other thing would be the um. Do I have new shit at the clock? Where's the clock? Right here. It's been a minute. But there's more clock shit to clock in. I don't know how many more things I've discovered. I don't really explore much in this game. Oh, is that a stain? Time away is funny, buddy! Tick tock! Oh boy! I've eaten too much this time! Oh, there you go, level 50. Three. Right. Unknown to each other, yet united in purpose, 
Wow. We make the same choices. Skill replenishes skill points for free the first time. Unknown to each other, yet united in purpose, we make the same choices. Unknown to each other, yet united in purpose, we make the same choices. How much more? I would need to be level 45 to get the next important idol on. Or how did I get a last one? Weird. There must be like a quest or something. Alright, I'm out. Sorry about the uh, internet dip. Uh, I'm gonna go eat. Y'all have a good night.